Hey there everybody, welcome back to another Wednesday Heat Check. Today, we are going to take a look at a sauce that I have zero idea what to expect. <laughs> I do not know anything about this company aside from that it was at my local store. <laughs> so, this is, I believe we're going to pronounce this Satie Jalapeno Hot Sauce made with avocado oil. So I found this sauce just at my local store and I love a good jalapeno based sauce. It's one of my favorite peppers, not necessarily the most hot, but they do have a lot of good flavor in them and they're a good sauce making pepper. <laughs> and I like greenish sauces and avocado oil, I don't know. I don't know that I've had too many hot sauces that use avocado oil. So let's, let's do it. So ingredients list, water, jalapeno, pepper, avocado oil, apple cider vinegar, pumpkin seeds, garlic, sea salt, tomatillo, flax seed, uh, quite, ooh, I don't, I don't know what to exactly how to say that. Quiela, quite, ah, ooh, Spanish lessons didn't quite, uh, hold on to my tongue there, uh, back in high school, I guess. Uh, quiella extra extract, not sure if I said that right, chia seeds and turmeric. Uh, this is coming out of Austin, Texas. A lot of sauces out of Austin, Texas. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it sounds interesting. I guess we'll see if it actually is interesting, though, here in a second. I think this is one of those sauces that deserves a good shake for that avocado oil, possibly. I could be wrong, but I don't know. We're going to give it a good shake. And I'll tell you another thing. And it, you might have seen this in a couple of reviews, but it always seems like the very top of the sauce just gets a lot, you know, or excuse me, the top of the bottle. You just get some lodged little goodies up there. And it's like, no, I don't want those goodies. I want it dispersed. Hmm. That's very different. Very different smell. I'm going to give it another. After I broke that seal, I'm going to give it another good shake there. So I don't know. It, it just sort of seems like we have a lot of stuff sort of lodged there at the top. Let me just you know, get that everywhere. Lick off the hand, lick off the finger. <laughs> we'll get an official spoonful here. And I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna be particularly hot or not. They don't give me any little scale, but jalapeno, probably not. Let's try it out. I need more. Need more of it. I feel like I just got like oil. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, you know, again, I just, I feel like there's something holding back here. And... You know, there's definitely an avocado taste in it. Okay, I'm, I'm just, let's just start layering this here. Is it hot? No, not really. There's a little tiny bit of a, of like a smolder there. I'm actually gonna try and get a little bit of the top of this sauce just like out of the top because I, I'm kind of a little bit annoyed at it. Because I, I, it's like I just have a chunk on the top and I'm not quite sure if that's not mixing well. And I, that actually looks like a good consistency. Now let's try it again. Third time's a charm. What's in this again? It's pumpkin seed. That's got to be what I'm... It's weird. It's not bad. I just... Yeah, it's got a real creamy kind of consistency. 
there's definitely avocado taste in there all over the place, but it kind of is putting me in the, in the mind of like, like Chinese food, you know, like, um, uh, like cashew chicken or something. It's like, I, I know, I mean, we've got pumpkin seed in here, but it feels like that it, it, it tastes like there's some nuttiness in here that is not necessarily coming through in the ingredients list. And I don't really know if flaxseed honestly tastes of anything to me, so I'm not sure about that, but like, I gotta, I, I guess I have to blame it on the pumpkin seed. Combination of pumpkin seed and the avocado oil. It's not very acidic, so the vinegar is not a huge component here. The jalapeno is there, but it's just, it's a very low heat. It's very, very mild. Definitely garlic. I mean, for what it is, it, it's seemingly pretty well rounded. Like, you know, I, I don't, maybe it needs a little bit more salt, but I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I really don't. It's, it's okay. I just don't know. It, it's confusing my taste buds because I just start thinking about eating like, you know, I, now I need to go get some Kung Pao chicken from the place down the road. You don't know that place. I do. It's my favorite Chinese place in town, but I, I just, I mean, it's got kind of like this, you know, Mexican, Hispanic, uh, Tex-Mex type theme and so forth to it. And then it just puts me in the mind of, I want Kung Pao chicken now. It's the weirdest thing. I don't, it's like I want to put this on a stir fry. Now it's the tea. I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it, that's fine. It's, an in, it's interesting. I don't know if it's for me, but it's different. It's very different. Um... If you like avocado and you like pumpkin seed, like a lot, this might be something for you. If you don't, it probably won't be. Um, but it is very creamy. It's not hot. Uh, it's it's just, it's probably a little too oily. Like it's got that component that I feel like if I ate too much of it, it might upset my stomach with the oil content, but it's not bad. Needs more tomatillo though. If you're gonna if you're gonna put tomatillo in it, give me tomatillo because I love tomatillo. Um, so yeah, so tea jalapeno hot sauce. I mean, again, I I don't know if that's really a winner or not. It seems okay, but that's all I got for you today. So if any of you have any suggestions for sauces you'd like me to try, leave them in the comments down below or send them to the PO box. I'd be more than happy to open a box up from you and try it on the channel. As long as it's appropriate. Don't send me crazy stuff. That would be bad. Uh, but follow all your local and state laws, you know. Um, but aside from that, make sure to like and subscribe. And we will catch you on the next one. See ya.